Early on against Princeton, everything was going the Quakers' way. After an early safety, Sam Kaczynski picks off Clint Epperly, pulling up Hammerman in the process, and takes it 61 yards for the score to put the Red and Blue up 9 up. The Quakers added another score on the backs of Spencer Colsar and Kyle Wilcox, who each had big days for the Red and Blue. Combined, the two backs ran for 172 yards. Here, Colsar takes it 49 yards into Princeton territory on his longest run of the day. And Wilcox finishes the drive off a few plays later with this six yard touchdown run. Princeton wasn't ready to go down without a fight, though, putting up 17 straight points to work back into the contest. Quinn Epperly had four touchdowns on the day two coming on the ground and two through the air, including this 10 yard touchdown pass to Seth Devout. On the next possession, Billy Rand throws a kick right into the stomach of Elijah Mitchell, who returns it for the touchdown to put Princeton back on top, 17 to 16, taking it 59 yards for the score. Though Penn scored before the half, the Tigers controlled the game the rest of the way, thanks in part to the Quakers' six turnovers on the day. They're going to three picks, and the Red and Blue skilled players couldn't seem to hold on to the football, fumbling three times. Princeton ruins Penn's homecoming, defeating the Quakers 38 to 26 in front of the largest homecoming crowd since 1996. There were 21,000 packing the streets. The Quakers will now need Princeton to lose if they hope to grab a share of the Ivy title. This is John Phillips reporting for the Daily Pennsylvania.